Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Thursday, January 2nd, 2020. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment in college football. We'll get to that. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, it's a real cool way to do it. You click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com or anybody else for that matter on the roster. Again, free $60 account trialrun.sports.com get started by clicking on the link below the video hey we get to say it just what one or two more times it is football thursday over at docsports.com because tonight thursday night football right through the wild card round all the bowls over the next seven days all available today thursday 6 p.m eastern 3 p.m pacific that's when they'll be posted as we do each and every thursday throughout the football season over at docsports.com i'm in action in thursday night's bowl action uh, i'm also of course and wild card action we've got a seven unit play going this week in football uh, we just went three and one with our four elite level plays those rated five units and higher last thursday afternoon through this week's package which ended yesterday for us but uh, three and one with elite level plays got another seven unit going this week and again all those plays will be available at 6 p.m eastern 3 p.m pacific on thursday and it'll include again that thursday night bowl game so don't miss out on that you know how well we've done we're 60 percent against the spread now the last 10 weeks of football going into our 11th week of hitting 60 percent or better and we're talking almost 80 games over those 10 weeks it's a heck of a sample size and we're hitting 60 percent and we just won uh, the season uh, contest at OV. It's called Opportunity Village here in Las Vegas, and they put together oh, 10 or 12 celebrities in the state of Nevada in Las Vegas. Floyd Mayweather, Oscar Goodman, a couple of other cappers. I was included, and we won. We hit almost 60% in the NFL for the entire 17-week run, and uh, we've now won the March Madness and the NFL contest uh, with OV, and so we're real happy to say we got that sweep. It's a great, by the way, cause. If you are in Las Vegas, take a tour, call them up, take a tour at Opportunity Village. You'll be glad that you did. Uh, but anyway, here's what's going on for us. We got the Thursday football package, which will be posted at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, Thursday night's bowl game right through next Wednesday, including uh, the wild card games in the NFL, including my seven unit main event in football, all available Thursday night, 6 p.m. Eastern. We passed in the NBA, and the NHL yesterday back in action in both leagues on Thursday and both NBA and NHL will be available at 1 p.m. Eastern 10 a.m. Pacific on a Thursday as far as college basketball I went 0-1 last night a bummer of a way to start the new year going 0-1 that had come in on a real nice 73 percent run over the past oh, 10 or 11 days 0-1 last night we'll look to bounce back we've got a couple of plays three plays in all likelihood a huge card by the way on Wednesday excuse me on Thursday over at, in the college basketball circuit so uh, we will have those plays in college baskets posted by 11:30 a.m eastern 8 30 a.m pacific on thursday don't miss out on any of that of course i mentioned before i get to the free pick in thursday afternoon college football i did mention the wild card uh, round of the nfl playoffs of course go this weekend and we thought we'd drop you a betting report as it stands heading into thursday's card uh, first of all you got of course buffalo at houston buffalo laying two and a half total 43 about 51 percent of the tickets thus far are reportedly on the buffalo bills tennessee and New England doing battle. New England on Saturday, a five-point favorite total, 44. Now, they're getting 61% of the tickets as we speak. This number did dip down below five uh, at one point earlier this week. It's now up to five again and a lot of shops, and even a few shops have five and a half right now. New England being the favorite again, the total is 44. Sunday action, you got the Vikings at New Orleans, where New Orleans is seven and a half, total 49 and a half. That number has been higher on New Orleans on that side, but uh, about 54% of the tickets on the Vikings right now in Seattle at Philly to wrap things up on Sunday the Seahawks a two-point favorite total 45 and a half 73 percent of the tickets on the Seattle Seahawks right now uh, they are two in a few shops they're one and a half and a few others so uh, check them out and if you're ready to play for the wild card weekend definitely shop around and get the best number that you can now I'm going to give you a an angle here I'm going to give you an angle on tomorrow's video and uh, this isn't a, a, an original angle it is out there uh, but I wanted to report it to you because it is pretty juicy and it kind of pertains to one particular game. It's only two home teams that have topped the 20-point mark have lost 
in the last 18 years of wildcard playoff action. This is coming to us from VEASAN. Those teams that were able to top 20 points at home in the wildcard round, about 37 and two straight up the last 39. And the spread record, 30 wins, eight defeats, one push. And so you got to ask yourself when you hear something like that, uh, will Minnesota, that's the game I'm looking at, be good enough defensively, a good defensive team as it is, be good enough defensively to hold New Orleans under 20 points. You just heard how well uh, these home teams do in the wild card round when they top 20 points. So that's going to be interesting to see if Minnesota, Minnesota is able to hold them in check. And it you know, obviously fits all the games in which you have uh, home teams that could potentially top that 20 point mark. But that one jumped out the most because obviously of all the four home teams the most potent offensive team are, are those New Orleans Saints and of course the highest total uh, being posted in that particular game of 49 and a half so uh, we'll, we'll talk a couple more angles over the next couple of days in these NFL games by the way as far as New Orleans was concerned I also wanted to mention uh, the four times they were held to less than 20 points this year they went two and two straight up they're 11 and one straight up in games where they top 20 points you remember the last time it happened was way back on November 10th uh, Drew Brees I think was in his second game back for New Orleans from the injury and they got punished by Atlanta 26 to 9 but again what a difference hold New Orleans under 20 they're 2 and 2 this year they score more than 20 they're 11 and 1 tie that in with that angle and then handicap the game and ask yourself can Minnesota keep this team under 20 points so again more angles to come over the next couple of days and we'll share those with you as far as uh, our free pick for Thursday's card in bowl action we're looking at the 3 p.m. Eastern 12 noon Pacific game between BC and Cincinnati and this one's now up to seven and a half not real crazy about the look of what Cincinnati's conference has done uh, so far and also listen sometimes bowl sometimes coaches leave their teams right before the bowls and it's a negative effect on that team and then there's other times when players are almost celebrating feel like the cuffs are off feel like they're no longer hamstrung uh, with that coaching staff that just left or the head coach and they play extremely well and I think that BC will be better off as far as their uh, mentality between their ears as they go into this game against Cincy with their head coach leaving. He was not popular by all reports among the players, and I think they'll come to play in this particular game. Now, uh, the line again is up to 7.5. Is Cincy the better overall team? I think so, but maybe not worth 7.5 points on a neutral site. And even though BC is banged up in the offensive backfield, I still think they can run the football in this game and hang that number. So, an opinion, a free pick on Boston College plus the points over Cincinnati. And don't forget the late game the late bowl game on thursday kicks off our new package over at docsports.com for the entire next six or seven days college football nfl wildcard round the big seven unit play also there again hitting 60 percent over the last 10 plus weeks and we'll look to keep that going right through this next card so those are available 6 p.m eastern 3 p.m pacific again our free pick for thursday boston college plus the points daytime bowl action if you like these videos click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe i'm scott sprites at docsports.com let's put thursday in the win column and I'll be right back here on Friday by 5 a.m. Eastern 2 a.m. Pacific.